Pretty as a roadside desert flower Shines like a star in a darkest hour Cool like a summer shower Australian girls We are about to catch up with Damien Bagley, the front man of the Viper Creek Band, affectionately known as Damo, and he joins us now. Now, Damo, I was just thinking, a few years back, you and I were sitting down having a beer together, and we said, you know, one day when the Viper Creek Band is able to capture a live gig and put it on a record, the whole feel, it's going to be a boomer. Just uh-huh. Press Play three years ago did that, and now, beautiful destruction, you're absolutely confident that this is the feel. Mate, I... Uh, I think it's, it's pretty good. We've actually, um, we at our launches a couple of weeks ago when the album came out, we, we played every song live. Uh, it was the first time we've ever done that for a, for a launch. And yeah, it felt really good. The songs just seemed to uh, fit right in the sets. Good times. We had the green light out, we've had that out, we've had Australian Girls out, which is actually sitting in the charts this week at number 24. But more exciting news is we have a film clip that we can watch now and people can request it on CMC. So tell us a little bit about the um, the writings of the song. So we're, we're going to want to talk about Australian Girls at the moment because that's the ones that's sort of hot on everyone's mind. Yeah, cool. Australian Girls, uh, I wrote uh, with Travis Collins and Matt Scullion, two Newcastle guys, so, you know, uh, made the call, went for the drive out at Travis Place, and, and it was one of those days where we really didn't have too many ideas that were you, you know that we wanted to run with, and and Matt just had to mention you know I'd really like to write a, a tribute song for for Aussie women, so away we went on that idea, and um, you know really excited something a little bit different for the Viper Creek Band, something uh, probably uh, the whole Australian thing we sort of shied away from when it was a tribute to the to the Aussie women and stuff like that it was it, it just felt really cool and you know i've got a lot of uh, strong female role models in my life from my mum to my mother-in-law to my grandma to my, to my wife it feels good to have a song out for them i can see this australia day you guys singing this song cranking it out it's going to go off see we dropped it uh we dropped it to itunes on australia day actually, mm. which was uh which was fun. We were in Tamworth. Got to play it live for the first time up there. So yeah, yeah but everyone everyone cool. knows it now. And I'm just telling you, 2020 Australian Girls is going to go right off when you boys sing that on Australia Day. There we go. That's that's what we're hoping for. Yeah. How's this for a line in this song, guys? I want you to just have a listen to this. It draws you in like a campfire flame. I mean, how good's that? Have you ever been around a campfire flame and not been mesmerised. That's and exactly right. I, I can't take the credit for that. I was going to say, who came up with that line? I think that was Travis, actually. So I think that was it was Trav. Just an honour to be in a, in a room with those guys too, like Trav and, and Matt. You know, like they, they're both amazing songwriters, and I just sit there mesmerised by those guys really the whole time. And um, <laughs> yeah, it was a fun day, and I'm you know I'm really stoked with how the song. Yeah. Are you going back overseas mm-hmm. this year or are you going to stay home? And I've noticed you've got some river cruises. And where can people keep up to date with where you are going? Well, you're, you're hosting a tour to Nashville from memory. I think you're taking mm. uh, the Gimpy winner from last year to Nashville, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, we are. Nat Pearson's coming with yeah. us on that, on that trip. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Troy and I, Kempi and I, uh, we host a tour to the CMA Fest. We did it last year for the first time. We booked out for this year. We've still got a spot couple of spots left for 2020 but um yeah we do nine nights in in nashville and go to to uh the cma fest and all the hot spots around around town and then head to um to memphis to go to graceland and sun records and stuff like that that's through our, our friends at sound mart tours so if anyone's uh keen on coming to, to nashville jump on the sound mart tours uh website and book your spot because it's a, it's a lot of fun but um I, i'm actually going over for that and staying for a couple of weeks and doing some writing and and stuff coming back because we've got a fair few uh, festival announcements coming up in the next few weeks. So the the idea for this year is to get out and do as many shows as we can and, and uh, play these songs for as many people as possible. Well, it sounds like it's going to be an absolute hoot. Uh, so if you want to follow the Viper Creek Band, as Tracy said, you can request the film clip now on CMC. The new album out at the moment, it's going to do great things. It's called Beautiful Destruction, and we're going to feature the new single, Australian Girls, right now. Damien, thanks for joining us tonight, and we look forward to doing it real soon. Always great to chat, chat guys. Talk soon. In the pomegranates, Australia.